Hi everyone, uh, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Lao uh, with Kenchan Crafts and today I have a very very um, exciting pen for us to unbox together and ink up. So it's new pen day. <laughs> so I got this pen. Um, this is again another Leonardo pen. <clears throat> um, if you watched my previous Leonardo pen uh, video, um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So you uh, would have seen that I wanted to um, get a Leonardo Magico pen uh, from the Leonardo, and I bought this pen, um, an endless pen again, um, and they always have amazing sales. Um, if you are looking for pens on sale, they have clearance section, they have hop drop section, they have new arrival section. And every section has a discount code that you can use to really reduce the price of the pens. So um, I always try to shop um, with discounts so that it, you know, it just feels more worth it to me because it is, pens do cost a lot. Uh, but this one just really, um, it really called for me. Um, I wanted a Magico pen, uh, one of their Magico pens, and um, so a lot of them were um, designs that didn't really speak to me, but this one, uh, it's a limited version. I saw it while I was browsing through eBay and it was way too expensive, amazingly expensive. <laughs> and then I went to end this pens and it was on there on the clearance section. And I was like, score, I got to get this. <laughs> so <clears throat> well, let's unbox. <clears throat> They really package their pens really well. Okay. This uh, is, again, I think this is a limited version and it's uh, lim like a Korean limited edition. But somehow um, Endless Pen had one of these. Okay, so Leonardo Memento Magico Collection. Oh, wow. This is a nice yellow box. Actually, no, this is supposed to be gold. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the pen I got is called the Golden Rule. Um, let's see. Well, everything in here is in Italian, so... <laughs> <clears throat> I wouldn't even begin to try and read that. Um, Finestra trepas Transparente? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like okay so this probably means it's a piston filler uh well yes it is a piston filler and it uh holds about 1.5 milliliters of ink leonardo Offici officina italiana more than 45 years of experience from father to son and the story goes on so if you don't know don't know about the story for leonardo it is quite um a great um you know background story of how they started um, and so I definitely, um, don't mind, uh, supporting them and buying their pens, <clears throat> of course, at the discounted price that I <laughs> can afford. Okay. So here is the box. So Memento Magico Rule. So I guess that's the, the name, Golden Rule. Okay. All right, let's open it up inside this box. Yet again, another box. So, okay, um, <laughs> I almost like spoiled myself there. So this is, uh, it's again, I think it's, I'm not sure if it's the um, Jonathan Brooks version, but like this is um, special edition to Korea. So. It, I'm not sure. I'll I'll check to see who the um you know the the collaborator is in creating this pen, but it is it's got like chatoyant um like swirls all over it. So each one of these pens is gonna be different. So I don't know if mine is gonna be the one that's gonna really <clears throat> make me, you know, uh excited or happy. Um but again 
uh, or, or you know if if the design is going to be one that I really like. So uh, since every pen is different, so let's see. Okay, still don't see it. All right. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, okay. This is cool. Look at that. Let's take that clip off, this thing. Okay, there shouldn't be anything else in the box because this is a piston filling pen. It's already got the piston uh, inside the barrel. <clears throat> okay. So here is my Leonardo uh, Momento Magico, and it is um, the golden rule. So it's like red um, and gold. Wow. Is it focusing right? Okay. Wow. It's so pretty. This isn't my typical color that I've um, am drawn towards, and more like a turquoise teal. Um, but this one is just so gorgeous, so beautiful. Okay. Hmm, that did not come out normally. Okay, so you can see there is the it's the piston. As I'm rotating the knob here, the piston inside is um, going up and down. Okay. And this pen is, um, the feed is made of Japanese ebonite. I think a lot of their gold nibs um, pens come with this ebonite feed. It does feel like plastic though, so I'm not sure if it is ebonite. Okay, and then the uh, nib is rose gold plated, I think, and this is 14 karat broad nib. So, the broad nib was the only one they had. I don't typically like writing with broads, but I'm going to try it out and see how I like it. I might need to call them and discuss with them. This this pen does not seem like most Magicos. Or maybe this is... I mean, I, I've never had a Magico before, so I'll have to, um, you know, let me know if you guys do own a Leonardo Magico pen and if it's difficult to unscrew. Um, it does feel different to unscrew the pen and or screw it back in. Um, and I do think it's because the threads are a little deeper in there, if you can see. Mm. Yeah, the, so the threads are deeper in, and it also has to go, you know, the threads are kind of far away. Okay, so this pen does feel pretty light compared to my previous Leonardo pen. Um, and the nib, I'm just looking at it, it's, it's not really a rose gold, it's, it's kind of like fiery golden. <laughs> Kind of cool. So like all these aspects, aesthetic aspects, I love. Um, but this twisting mechanism is a little awkward to me. And the ink window is a little bigger than I expected too. But you can see the ink window when you close it. So it's nice to see, you know, if you have enough ink left or not enough. Okay. And I like that the the end barrel 
the infineal here is uh, like a striking red. And then the rest of it is got gold and red swirls. Beautiful pen. Okay. Yeah, the other Leonardo just twists off so nicely. This one just feels like it wasn't done right. Um, but again, if you have a Magico, please let me know if the um, cap twisting is smooth or if it's kind of rough like this one. It's very rough if you could see how I did that. Okay. So, because this is called the Golden Rule, I wanted to ink it up with the Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. This is a shimmering ink. Um, so I'm not quite sure if I really wanted to um, uh, ink up this my gold Magico pen with um, with a shimmer ink, but Golden Barrel is a very very well behaving um, ink, one of the best shimmer inks from the Pelican line or the Pel uh, the Edelstein line, um, and I used this in. A lot of my pens and they come out just fine. They had there were no uh, clogs at all, so I um, have I don't um, have any fears that this will clog uh, this Magico pen either. But before I ink it up, I just wanted to do some size comparisons um, with my other pens that I use every day. All different pens. Okay, so I will uncap them because I have mine uncapped right now and hopefully I will do it quickly so they don't dry out. Oh, oh my goodness, without the, <laughs> without the cap they're all just rolling around, okay. So. From uncapping, you can kind of see, <clears throat> um, I'll just zoom in a bit here, that the Magico is definitely longer than all of them. My Sailor Pro Gear Slim is really tiny, <laughs> um, and the, the one that's closest to it would probably be um, the Twisby and my Pilot Custom 823, those are the biggest ones. And the Magico is extremely long in comparison, but um, just a couple millimeters longer, probably. Um, now, I wanted to see, to, com to compare the Chatoyancy here, this one actually looks really like there is Chatoyance and sparkles in there. And this one, I just wanted to make sure, yeah. It's kind of chatoyant. Uh, yeah, no, it is, it is. Yeah. It's just not as pronounced as this one, but look at that. They both look so cool next to each other. This one kind of looks like the Van Gogh's Starry Night painting. Really pretty. Um, okay. Yes, I'm so happy with these two. <clears throat> okay, so let's cap these. I do not want them to get dried up. And then we'll compare them side by side. Yeah, it feels like the acrylic on here is not as heavy duty, but okay. Slightly longer than my Leonardo Memento Zero. And then it's about the same length as the Custom 823. Yeah, 
So it's a pretty good um, length. Um, and I think that <clears throat> I would probably use this pen unposted. Uh, it's pretty light in my hand, so it might not be such a bad idea to post this pen. Um, it is rather very long, so I might not want to post it. Let's go back. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's put these pens aside. Okay. And then we will ink this up. All right. So I'm going to just, um, I think, screw the end caps counterclockwise so that the the um, piston will go down and then we'll get that ready to ink it us up. I'm just going to agitate the bottle a little bit so that all the shimmers are distributed. The shimmers are very, very, uh, the particles are very tiny. So again, like that is what makes shimmer, um, you know, clog pens is kind of how large the shimmer particles are. So I appreciate that Pelican is a, you know, makes their shimmer particles very tiny. Um, and I do love this ink a lot, how it writes. It's super legible. It's like a yellow gold color with some orange undertone. So, okay, I think that should be enough. to prepare my paper towel here, wipe off the excess. And uh, if any of you guys do have ebonite feeds, do let me know if um, I should be using or not using um, shimmer inks with it. Um, cause I have read just on one post that ebonite feeds are generally more, um, sensitive to shimmers, but again, this is a very, very tiny shimmering particle ink. So hopefully that won't do anything to it, but look at the window. It's, it's showing how much ink I have in there. I didn't get a good fill, but yeah. I think I'm okay with that for now, just to see if I like the ink. If I do like it a lot, then I'll put a bigger fill in there. But I think it looks pretty cool with that little ink window showing the ink slushing in there. And it's it's a perfect little ink to, you know, match this pen. Okay, but let's see how that writes. I'm going to just quickly screw it. Yeah, I think this capping is definitely different and so this might be normal for the magico okay so we'll do a writing test i am going to just write in the empty pages that i did not get to in january and uh yeah Okay, so broad nib, let me just, oh my goodness, yeah, it just takes so long to unscrew it. Okay. All right, I'll zoom in. Need a couple seconds. This pen is really scratchy. 
I'm not sure why. Like, it's a broad, it should not be scratchy. Or maybe it's the ink, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Leonardo. Memento. Magico. This is the golden rule. And it's a broad nib. Um, let's see, oh, ink. Pelican. Hilstein. Golden Barrel. Brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, um, so it does write a tiny bit scratchy, I think. I think that might be the nib because this ink doesn't make such a scratchy noise so I might need to put this through some micro mesh <laughs> um, just to smooth it out because the my flex fine Leonardo <clears throat> it writes very smoothly um, with no scratchiness You know, the flex fine and the broad kind of writes the same in terms of like line width. Oh my gosh. Okay, this thing is going to be frustrating to open every time. <laughs> um. Look at that, just gorgeous. Okay. So I'll just bring it up closer. It does show off the, the really nice shading um, of this golden barrel. And I can see like the shimmer as well coming off onto the page, so I do like this combination a lot. Okay. Wow. Um, so I didn't really have um, too much of expectations um, for this pen, but I definitely like having this in my collection. Uh, even though it is abroad, it's just slightly broader than my Flex Fine. And um, so it's really nice to write really big, bold letters with this gorgeous, stunning golden barrel ink. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it for this video. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Um, and uh, just, I don't know. Um, let, me down, let me know again down in the comments if you own a Magico. Um, and uh what your experiences are with it um i might you know continue writing with this and 
discuss more about it in my next Currently Inked video. Um, and, um, yeah, well, if you enjoyed this uh, unboxing video of my new Leonardo Memento Magico pen, um, please, you know, leave a comment, a, a like, a thumbs up, and uh, consider subscribing if you want to continue seeing more videos um, from me, uh, kind of just exploring my pen adventures. Um, that would be lovely, and I appreciate everybody for watching my videos. Um, yeah, so until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye.